Greetings everyone, welcome back to yet another uh, Coffin of Andy and Lele video and so we're coming back to try and get other endings I guess. Hold up. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to get more more endings. So last time there's this part where our parents are offering us an olive branch I guess to where we either refuse or accept um yeah i don't really know what this would lead to but i guess we're basically betraying um we're betraying lele with this so i guess we accept it this time oh shit i forgot how to use my keyboard accept let's see what we what happens Ooh. ah <sighs> i want to say yes i wish i could say yes to that honestly but i can't i'm stuck I'm so fucking stuck you don't even know is it the death certificates? I noticed you had moved them. There must have been some. There must have been some ugly mix-up. We can clear that up. There's a lot more to it than that. Nothing has happened that can't be fixed, Andrew. And I'm not angry. I know you didn't want to do this. All you have to do is convince Ashley to give you the gun, and we can put this behind us. Oh no. <laughs> Fuck this. I need to light the candles. Okay. I guess it's just the same. So let me try to go back to the previous save point. I don't know which one it is though. Is it this one? I think it's this one. Uh, you can no, this is the ending. <laughs> That's the ending. Okay, I think it's this one maybe. Yes, it is. Okay, this is the one where we had to either pick that to that side, and this is where we get another ending. Yeah, we get another ending here. And um, let me see. I forgot where they go. I think the heart goes right here. The heart goes right there. The broken heart goes right there. And the sunshine goes right there. And then we unlock this side. So let's head over here and see what, what's popping. This seems the same path. Take it, enter. Yes. Let's do this. Oh, the heck? Um, okay. <laughs> so ghosts. What's up, ghosts? Hold up. Let me... How do I do this? Let me go over and lower my volume a bit. How do I do that? I have no idea. Hold up, where's my... There it is. Okay. Let me lower my volume. I think that should be good. Oh shoot. A spirit. That was definitely a spirit. There's another spirit up here though. Let's see this one. Um, hello Mr. Spirit. An existence of some sort. Okay. Uh, we need more... Well, actually, right? I think we have some. Let's place this. The rocks won't budge from this side. Where do I take the rocks? The rocks won't budge from this side. Uh, right here? Oh, oh uh, <laughs> a ghost, maybe? Where do I take the rocks, though? I can put them- oh, there we go. <laughs> There's a rope of some sort above, but you can't reach it. So, I need a- I need to get the rope. Found an empty bottle in the trash. Okay, I think I have some. Uh, there's nothing to step up. No, I don't. I, th I thought I had some, uh, flowers. I guess I don't. Um, what do I do? We gotta get up there somehow. And guess what? It's locked. Yes, yes, it's locked. I can't reach the rope. So, how, what do I do? Bottle- Oh, I, I bottled the spirit. <laughs> okay. It's still locked. Maybe I can bottle the other spirit. Let me go bottle this spirit. And I bottle the spirit. So what do I do with the bottled spirits? So let me come over and bottle this spirit. Bottle that spirit. Okay. I need to get up and up there, but, but I can't reach the rope. Maybe here? No. What do I do here? Maybe I go over here with back with the ball spirit. No. Oh, I uh, snapped a branch off the tree. Got a stick. Okay. Oh, I can use a stick to get the rope. Let's let's go get the rope with the with the stick. Get the rope with the stick. Uh, use the stick to pull down the rope ladder. Let's climb it. And get this. I got a key. Oh, the key is for this over here. Okay. And now we can get the watering can. Got a watering can. And do we come over there and grow some flowers or what? Oh no, there's flowers right here. Water some flowers. And then we get the flowers. Good. Great. This is easy. And then bam. Now we bottle these spirits. Bottle the spirit. And bottle a spirit. An empty or an entity has appeared. Ooh, hello, Mr. Entity. There's nothing, uh, there's not enough sticks to carry your weight. I need more sticks. Do I uh, get, oh, wait, right here? Snapped branch off the tree. Got a stick. 
Uh, place more sticks. I need more sticks, I guess. There's plenty of branches though, but either way, this one there got a stick, and I think that's it because that that one's tiny and doesn't really look like it could do anything. But I placed out all the sticks. Hello, there you are finally. It's into the bot. Uh, it's into the bottle with you now. Just kidding. <laughs> Let's get out of here before it finds us. Okay. What? Where's Andrew? Andrew? Andrew, where are you? Right here. What the hell? Don't just run off like that. Did you see any visions? I take it you didn't? Nah, we couldn't sleep. Well, I think I saw some vision, but it didn't seem like anything important. I was just collecting ghosts or something. Nothing about getting caught? Nope, not a thing. Huh, okay. I guess that's a good sign. Wait, did you say you couldn't sleep? Yes. Oh my! And for a moment there, I thought you had- I thought you had changed. What are you on about? So, what's eating at you? Come on, you can tell me all about it. Oh, I don't know. Something about getting caught red-handed. Not- uh, not the parent side itself? Come on. Let's go ditch the bones already. Every second we waste is a second we risk getting caught. Okay. Um, so I guess we're just doing this again. We're going to go ditch the bones. We come this way, and then the bones are- the, the skulls are gonna fall out of the bag right over here. There, they go rolling down. What happened- what would have happened if I walked up the stairs, though? <laughs> I hate you. It's not my fault the stupid bag ripped on its own! I don't care, Herb, and pick them up. Yada, Andy. Okay, there, pick them up. Thank God no one is here at this hour. Okay, then we come over to our car. Get in our whip. Room. Okay, so don't stray too far into the light, just in case someone does pass by. Yeah, we throw them over. Uh, Andrew drops the bag with the bones. Yep. My bag broke. Uh, how do we make sure the skulls sink? They'll probably be fine. Into the ocean they go. Well, there they went. So they did. Should we recite a prayer or something? Let's not get too uh, sad to Moshe's here. I feel like we should. I don't know. Say something. To put it past us for closure. Closure? For what exactly? I don't know. It was just a thought. I'm starting to think you want me to be upset. I'm just worried. I don't... Um, I know I don't give a shit, but I thought you did. I did. Fine. Let me think. Take your time. Dear mom and dad. Thanks for giving me life. It's been a while. And thanks for giving Ashley life. She too has been awful. Hey! I'm sorry. Do you want me to share my thoughts after all? Uh, some eulogy this is, but go on. Uh, sorry for selling your souls. That was very rude of us. But your soul- But you sold ours first, so that makes us even, doesn't it? And that's all I have to say. Maybe he has changed after all. You seem a bit down. Are you sure you're not the one who wanted to say something? If so, then go for it. It's not that. Then what? Say, now that this has been dealt with, are we in the clear? Honestly, I have no idea. There's always the possibility I overlooked something. That's right, and I bet you did. Huh? Bet you fucked up bad. And we're just waiting to get hauled off to jail right now. Death row, here we come. Oh, thanks, Ashley. Really. Way to put my mind at ease. You've got nothing to fear as long as I am here with my trinket. I don't know. Didn't you just say the last the last vision was useless? Foolish Andrew, if we'd be in trouble oh, you're so confident I'm, I'm you're so confident in pulling these assumptions off or out of your ass. But I hope you're right. Don't you worry, just leave it all to me. But anyway, we should do it we should do uh whatever, I don't uh, leave it all to you, huh? Our next move, Andrew. Planet. Planet. Um, well, the money has bought us some time, but we still need to find ourselves new identities. Do we really, though? Can't we just live in the car and mug random people for a living? That's just not going to work out very long. Every time we try our luck, we're more likely to get caught. Uh, then we can't buy fake identities. Can't we buy fake identities? I know people do that sometimes. Point me to the guy who sells them, and I'll get right on that. 
Well, it's not like it's easy to find those guys, but there's still guys out there that does that. You just gotta, you just gotta go find them. Maybe someone there knows someone who sells them. Probably not, though. Stop being such a, a defeatist. Let's go take a look, look, let's go take a little look-see. It's a crap idea to go a anywhere near where we killed that guy. Also, that motel was the only one letting us stay with cash only. Fine, but we're leaving the car in some random parking lot. Since there's definitely an ongoing investigation for that hitman's death. Right, cool, whatever, let's get going. Okay, I had a mole here? And then it's just this part. Are you coming or what? In a minute, let me finish this. A waste of time and money. Or a waste of time and money, I love it. Uh huh, glad to hear it. And then the mole turns into an eye. Wait, really? That's the end of episode two. I want to save the game. Oh, sure. I'm not going to pursue this ending, but whatever. What What's her to uh, save? We can continue here once episode three burial has been updated. I wonder when that comes out. But let me hold up. There's three achievements and I want to see how to get them. So there's present. It says found a present. I don't know what that means. A vision watcher found an unexpected spectator then summoned an unknown entity. I have no idea what any of these are and how to get them. So hold up, give me one second. Uh, let me open this up. I'm gonna to try to find, uh, I'm gonna to try to find out how to get those endings. So I found something where it tells me how to get the present. I don't know if I have a save here though. I need to check. Um, I need to check out all my saves. So, uh, it's back at the, it's not at the beginning because it's where we were at the car. Let me see if there's anything here. Uh, okay. So this is where we kill the hitman. I want to go to the save after this one, maybe. Oh, okay. So I have to start from the from the hitman one, right here. So this is this. So I think I already got everything, right? Or no? All good. Can we go? I didn't pick up my things up. Hurry up. Okay. So let's just do this real quick. Let's get the items. We kill the hitman and then take his car. Because the minigame we do in the car, that's where we find the present. But they're holding the door open. Yeah, so let's just get past all of this. Well, I'm here now. This is the little mini game that we have we, that we had to do. And so there's apparently a uh, an ending. I can't pick up the red flowers yet. Or not an ending, but a, a freaking uh, achievement that we that we get from here. Let's go back and get those flowers, then go do that. It's not this part because it's, I believe, the next part after this one that we have to, well, we get the red flowers. Is it this one? Let me check. Hold up. Uh, where's my mouse? Right there. Okay. It's not this one. It's the one after this one. Okay. So let's come this way. We need to get the flowers. Where are the flowers? There's one over there. And we got to place it down there. This one leads me over there, and I'm right here, fuck. Pick up red flowers and let's go. Here we are, so here's um, this guy. Oh, okay, let's just talk to him, I guess. Let's talk to him, uh, you meant to come. It's a dream, yes, we are in a dream. We are in a dream. I don't really care about this dialogue right now. Can you hurry up? Uh, we're, we're talking about recharging our thing, and we need souls, that's why we decided to kill our parents. Well, we didn't really kill them. Well, we technically did kill them, actually. We did, because they were still breathing after his soul was taken. He took his so the souls. I killed the parents. So we gotta get one. This is, uh, one. I don't really know. I'm just following the, the directions here. This is one this way. Actually, let me just pick up all the flowers real quick. Pick up these flowers as well. We gotta go. This is one. Go that way. And of course, we're down here. And, uh, this way, right, two, and three, okay, we're at three, we pick up four, um, pick up those flowers, and then five is this way, five, and we're six, where is six, where am I, I'm right there, oh, yes, six is up here, okay, six, and seven, and then eight is right there place okay now we go into this actually yeah i have not gone into this room i forgot i picked this one last time okay so this is now something that we do because i did not go this way actually so let's just do this and then what's next afterwards 
it's one's this way. That's one, and then two is up there. First, pick out the flowers, get those flowers, and then come up here to two. And then there's flowers down here. Pick up those flowers. And there's a butt present. Okay, three. And we go this way for four. And we go up here. Pick that up. We go five this way. Five. And this. Okay. And now let's, let's. Do I still have? Yes, I do. Okay, let's pick up that present. Found a present. Inside is. A lemon muffin disguised as a birthday cake. Haha, <laughs> old man. Kind of takes me back. What? You get lost in your thoughts for a bit. Oh, okay. The birthday. I'm home. Oh, what's that you got there? My teacher gave it to me. That's nice of her. She gives one to everyone on their birthday. It's not special. She's not getting paid to do it, so she... She's going out of her way to try and make you smile. <laughs> hey, Andy? Yeah? Isn't it interesting that when it's your birthday, you have your classmates come over and stuff? When it's my birthday, we can never afford anything. I've got some pocket money. Wanna go buy a cake? Nah, it's not like my friends would show up anyway. They're always busy when I ask them for anything. Even when I haven't said the date yet. Uh, okay? <laughs> A more cake for us? I don't know. Come on, let's go get you something. <laughs> okay. Okay. Frozen cakes? Quiet, you. I'm on a budget. Yikes, 20 bucks for whatever the hell this is? No thanks. <laughs> you watch as Andy scouts the cakes, or more accurately, their price tags. Say, I've got an idea. How about instead of cake, we get the muffin value pack? What? Those muffins take lemon extract and sadness! If I put whipped cream on them, uh, you'll have a dozen cakes instead of just one. He just can't afford a cake. Fine. But then you'll also have to watch Hypergore Splatterbrains 2 with me, what the heck? That age restrict- uh, that's age restricted. You'll have to ask dad to- No. We still have time- we still have- What? We do? I thought we rented it months ago. Yep. Mom said to just keep it at this point and never go back to that shop again. Ugh. What short-term thinking? Well, whatever. Deal. Oh, oh, cool. Let me just close this up. Hold up. Where's my mouse? There it is. I'll close that up. Okay. Die, you son of a bitch! No, spare me! I'll never fuck your ugly whore of a wife again! <laughs> my intestines! <laughs> the fuck? Oh. Why do you like this movie again? Because I was told I can't watch it. Of course. Well, happy birthday, Lele. Heh <laughs> thank you. I'll remind mom to put some money aside for you next year. Nah, that's okay. Huh? I think this birthday stuff is fucking stupid anyway. Watch your mouth, you little shit. <laughs> but it is! So what if- So what if it's been another year? It's all nonsense anyway. Who cares? Well, I, for one. Then- uh, then that makes a grand total of one person who cares. Fine, I'll just buy you something on my own then. And I happen to like these sad lemon muffins, so guess what you'll get next year too. Ha ha ha. But what if they stop making them? They won't. But if they do, I'll make my own just to spite you. <laughs> okay. Your existence will forever be ce celebrated with lemon flavored dough and pre preser- Preservatives. God, no, no, at least get the chocolate ones. What? You like those better? Why didn't you say so at the store? I thought you wanted the lemon ones. Only because I thought you liked them. No, and didn't you say you, uh, say you like, you say, say you like them? I was lying so you could keep playing coy. Pfft. <laughs> ha uh, okay. Sorry. I'll get the chocolate ones next time. Nah, these are growing on me. Thanks, Andy. You're my favorite lemon muffin. Okay. So you pretend to like me. Haha. <laughs> wish for something. I wish my brother loses all his friends and never finds love. Ow, oh, thanks. Damn. Okay. Hey, <laughs> you're welcome. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ashley's... Wow. N ha. The good old bad times. So let's, uh, head over here. 
Why is my back? Okay. There's still more. I thought this way would take me home. And good god, I am so sick of these fucking flowers. This part's the same. So we just stomp on all the flowers. And it it turns turns red. Uh okay. <laughs> let's uh let's eliminate all the flowers. Ah! Ashley? Andy, is that you? Help, get me out of this shithole. Come on, wake up, it's not funny. I'm trying, jackass. Do something, help me! Okay, uh-uh. Oh, thank God. I was a hair away from taking you to the hospital. Huh? Why? That, uh, wouldn't it... Uh, you wouldn't wake up no matter what I did. God, Ashley, don't scare me like that. What time is it? 10 in the morning or something? Mom and Dad should both be at work right now. Uh, so whenever you're ready, I guess. You're only being nice now because you treated me like shit last night. Okay. I treated you... Uh, I treated you the way you deserve to be treated. Or actually, no. Scratch that. Considering you kept pushing me around all day, I think I was pretty fucking lenient with you. Damn. Okay. <sighs> so anyway, this episode is titled Andrew and Ashley and the Home Sweet Home Invasion. What kind of knockoff cash grab show is that? I'm not interested. Well, it's definitely all about cash grabbing. Hahaha. <laughs> I, I mean, boo. No, thank you. No, I saw that. You're into it. Let's go. No, it sucks. Haha. <laughs> but I'm so nice that I'll rule with it for now. Okay. Why aren't we at some park? Free parking, that's why. Mom and Dad live somewhere down the slope. So let me head over to my achievements, and I got that achievement. Let's go. Two more, the Vision Watcher and Unknown Summon. So let me actually, let me try to find out how to get those two. Okay, so the next uh, achievement is the Unknown Summon, which it says a hitman will break into Andrew and Ashley's motel room. Once Andrew returns from the cultist location, Andrew has to return to the cultist location. What? It says... Returns from the cult's location. Andrew has to return to the cult's location to go through the kitchen door on the right in order to dodge the hitman. Oh. Wait, so what? Instead of going to the freaking... Hold up, my thing is. So instead of going to the park, we go to the hitman location? I'm down. Let's go that. At least I have a save there. Let's uh, load that save. And it was... One... Or no, it was this one. The one I was just at. Because that's the one I did. Okay. So let's do this. Let's get the laundry. So I think it's this part, actually. But frankly, I don't entirely know. I'm just assuming that this is the, 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 the area we need to be. No, it's not. Okay. So I can't do that. Do that. Go up one. The beginning of the chapter. So let me just get through all of this real quick. Give me one second. So I am back to here. And so this is the part where we have to go all the way back to the cultist room. So we have to go all the way back to the cultist room over here. Go up to this way. Drew, Andrew, yes. Why are we here? The hitman is in our motel room. I just don't like the idea of walking into a room where someone is waiting to kill us. Uh, what, what do you want to do then? And why bring me here? I'm not sure. Let me think. Yeah, I don't know. We're heading down the button on this. On this won't respond without a swipe tag. Do we care? Well, yeah. I want to see if there's anything useful I missed down at the cultist club. Why? I'm almost starting to think you want to uh, want to summon whatever demon they failed to call. I won't deny the possibility. They have crossed my mind. Well, um, but only the employees have a swipe swipe tag, so I guess so much for that. Then let's uh, make a bunch of noise. What? A worker would have to come check on it. And then we can mug them and get their swipe tag. Uh, we make a ruckus and it's the police that's uh, gonna come check on us. Are there even any workers here at this hour? I have no idea. Uh, the cleaning supplies sits in the closet. The, it is apparently how they could be... Uh, well, okay. I want some coffee. Then make some. It's, go it's going to be quite a long night. Uh, let's not make ourselves at home. God, you're so j joyless. Ashley brews you some coffee. You drink it black, for you dare not use any of the milk. God knows it's full of spit or jizz. What the fuck? What? 
That summoner job left. Uh, that that summer job left you with some scars. Damn. Okay. There you go. I have no. I, I have no idea of the hell you've just unleashed. You have no idea of the hell. What? Whoever bought this coffee will throw a fit when they find others have used it. Why they bring it in? Of course, people are going to take some. Uh, you're the kind of person who'd eat other people's lunches, huh? I'm the kind of person who eats other people. <laughs> uh oh, you're terrible. And so this coffee. Use uh, use more grounds next time. And so is this coffee. Use more grounds next time. Ungrateful and and contradictory. Uh, you wash the mug and return it to the shelf. My, how dare you use someone uh, someone else's detergent? How very selfish of you, you thieving scoundrel! Uh, never once have I claimed not to be a hypocrite. Uh, thanks for the coffee, weak as it was. You're welcome. I spat in it. Not really, huh? Right? There is no an There is no answer. Did she? I don't freaking know. Nothing of value inside. But the carton. The carton. Oh, I think here comes our victim. Don't you dare let me handle this. I thought I was the last one here. Hey there. Are you done below? Yes. Who are you? We're from the catering. There was some issue with the amount of cakes. Oh, uh, th that. Uh, yeah, well, one of them went missing somehow. Well, that's no good. Mind if we take a look? Um, uh, what? The, the car was already taken by the, the, the catering company. Actually, didn't I see you earlier at the club? Like I said, I'm from the catering. I was here the whole time. Alright, of course. M -m Maybe there was just a mix-up with the amount of cakes. It's no problem for us to take a look anyway. Come on then. <laughs> right this way! The hell are you doing? Shh. Okay. We are down here. See, the carts are gone already. I understand. I only wanted to see if the cakes had fallen off somewhere. But I'm starting to think maybe someone stole it. Go. <laughs> but le let's not jump to conclusions just yet. It might have simply been misplaced here somewhere. So let me see. What do I do? So I have to interact with all the candles? That's what it looks like. Um, let's just interact with... Well, or do I? I don't know. It has all the candles circled. I can't interact with any of them. Um, let me actually just read this some more. Hold up. It says, after entering the kitchen, Andrew must deal with the upper elevator door. Uh, this will trigger a cutscene. To start following the cutscene, Andrew must engage with one of the ground-based red eyes. Oh, okay. So I have to engage in one of the ground-based red eyes? Uh, okay. Well, since we're here, wanna give this a go? Would you be up for it? Nah, I hate to summon a demon, sorry. Up for it, dumbass? Why do you think I offered? Jesus, just checking. Who's always- uh, you're, you're the one who's gonna have to talk to it. Ask it to get rid of the visitor in our room. Why can't you talk to it? For whatever reason, uh, things went well for you last time. Alright, fine. Okay. Hey friend, come here for a bit. Y yes Did you find the key? I say, is this blood or paint on the floor? Paint? But when we call for Lord Unknown, it is uh, traced over with red blood. Oh my, whose? We buy it from the butcher shop. Well, no wonder nothing shows up then. Huh? What do you mean? You're summoning with stale blood that's been sitting on a shelf for who knows how long. I wouldn't show up for that either. I trust Six Eyes methods. Maybe you two should focus on fixing your catering. I heard of you offer. I heard if you offer blood, all your sins will be forgiven. Oh, where does it say that? N not that I know of any thieves. Lord Unknown said it. T don't tell me you didn't know that much. Some devotee. How much blood do you think it is? Enough to draw the circle should be plenty. Just for fun, maybe I'll do it. Great idea, give me your hand for a bit. You cut his finger with your cleaver. There you go. Neat. Neat, I'll draw the circle with this. Then I'll light the candles. And don't forget the music. So let's light all the candles now. Yep, a lot of candles. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I do have to light. Okay, I'll just check it. 
We light all the candles, but we set the music. We're setting the mood for our demon summoning rituals and shit. And how, where's the music? Uh, the music's over. Uh, where's the music? Um, I don't know. Imagine how pleased Six Eyes will be if we manage to summon Lord Unknown. We might even get invited to his inner circle. That'd be so cool. Um, yeah. Okay. But how do I play the music? Oh, there we go. Where's the play button? I doubt the audio is controlled from here. Where then? How should I know? Yeah, so I think it might be over here. I think, maybe? The audio? Uh, oh shoot. Uh, I don't see anything. I'm rummaging through the forgotten items you find. 666 bucks? Ah. Uh, what kind of reaction is that? I was hoping for an ID or a credit card or something. If you're not happy with what you got, I'd be glad to take it off your hands. Uh, I'll give you half. Really? Why not? Uh, why not? At, at this point, all our finances are shared anyway. Handed Ashley 330 bucks. Hehe, <laughs> thanks, Daddy. God, you're so one note. And that note is off key. Ah, I know you love me. Less every day. Scratch that. Well, I'm glad you got that out of your system. Woman, I just gave you a small fortune. That fact should speak for itself. Haha. <laughs> okay. So it doesn't look like I can play the music from there. Where do I play the damn music? There's a chord? Um, I don't know if there's anywhere else to go. Maybe here? Turn on the- oh, it's, yeah, it's right there. Turn on. Okay. Donna, I am sinless. I'm, I mean, the circle's ready, but I am sinless too, as I have always been. All right, then. Um, um. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Why are you- okay. Say, is this even a real demon we're summoning here? Of course it is. We're just not worthy of it showing up. Or maybe you just got lucky last time. Or maybe you should fucking try summoning it too. All you're doing is standing there watching. That's right. We should all do our best, even if even if you're not dressed properly. Which might be the reason why Lord Unknown won't hear us. What am I supposed to do then? I, I don't want to end up like our neighbor. You could buy some robes from the... Summon. Is that simple? Just invite it over. Just don't ask it something um, for nothing. It'll be fine. She has no idea what she's talking about. But, but she's the what? She's the one who, she's the one who got, uh, got it done last time. So, what do I know? You know what? Fine. But if it kills me, then that's on you. Heh. <laughs> Demon, come out! Come on out! Um, come on out! Say it like you. You'd actually want something to show up. Come on out. Or come on out, come on out. Whatever. Come out and don't kill me or her. Her the third guy is fine though. Oh. Damn, bro, look at that. Deep. Lord unknown! Oh, it's a bit bigger than the last one, huh? <laughs> Lord unknown, I'm sorry about the K. The entity is saying something, but you can't make out the word. Sorry, what? Man, I can't hear it properly, can you? Maybe Lord Unknown doesn't speak human. Failing to establish the means to communicate, the entity grows bored. Lord Unknown's presence begins to fade. W wait, wait, don't go! I've got a favor to ask. Look, you can't take that guy's soul. W what? Uh, okay. Huh? What was... Uh, well, that was... Interesting, Zed. Yeah, I know what I said, but look. It didn't take your soul anyway. So, so what? So what? You, you, you bitch! What was that? Yeah, you watch your mouth, bitch. There's two of us, uh, and, and one of you. You're both horrible. No wonder Lord Unknown just up and left. Because, because demons, uh, as we all know, hate horrible, um, horrible as What is this guy, an idiot? Did you just now figure that out, you idiot? Hey! It takes one to know one, idiot. Who's an idiot? Ask the idiot. Forget this. Let's get out of here. Good, go. And don't and don't think for a second I won't tell six eyes what's happened. Who gives a shit? And with that many eyes, you think he'd have seen it coming. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense, idiot. Why you? Lit.
come on, we're going. Good riddance. You can be damned. Uh, you can be damn sure we're never ordering from your catering service ever again. Um, oh, hey. Could you get the elevator for us? Out with you. Man, what was with that guy's problem? Us. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. <laughs> that that was something. Is uh the guy still going to be there? Well, we didn't make any friends. Demons or otherwise. Good. Now you can focus on what's in front of you. Okay. Hold up, is there anything? Hitman wins. Once the hitman gets into your motel, go in there to and address the closet up top. Oh, I already got that ending. Okay, whatever. Ta-da! It's me! Uh, huh? It'll always be me, like it or not. Listen here, you. We're in a bit of a situation, remember the- Hehe. <laughs> what? L lay lay huh you said back there i didn't i said lay and only because i didn't want to use your actual name in front of that idiot i'm fine with lay it's a nickname of a nickname well i'm fine with ashley so that's what we'll stick with boo whatever you'll come around i'll wait well anyway that summoning was a bust we did get further than the others did either i r I, r I really think there's something about you doesn't really matter. We've got a hitman to deal with. We've tried your whatever that was, so now we're doing things my way. Fair enough. Let's get back to the motel, pick up our stuff, and see what we'll see. Ugh, what a waste of time this was. And we got that achievement! Okay. Uh, one more achievement. It says, Vision Watcher. Uh, found an unexpected spectator. Let me see. Vision Watcher, it says... While preparing the ritual to sacrifice their parents, Ashley needs to choose F that instead of trust him. Oh, okay. Um, let me see if I can go back there. I don't know if I have a safe point there, though. Let me check. It says F that instead of trust him. Because I, I usually save at those points. And yeah, because there's a saved game option there. So let me see if I have it. I should... Um, where would it be though? It's not there, not there, not there. Right here, maybe? Uh, trust him? Y yes trtrust him. Now we say fuck that. <laughs> this. Oh, forget it. This jackass does, uh, doesn't exactly have a stellar record when it comes to watching over hostages. And I'm still not convinced he didn't try anything with the lady from room 302. Never mind. You're right. I should stay. You go get the cash. Alright, good. He, here for the candles got lighter and the runes so the runes are pentagrams but i didn't pay attention to the i didn't pay attention i didn't pay attention to crap like that last time and everything worked just fine true well you're the ex you're well, well you're the expert here do what you will leave it to me okay first i need some more blood a, a sketch of runes yes let's take let's take a uh, father's blood this is ridiculous! I can't believe you brainwashed Andrew to play along with, uh, to it. Brainwash him? My ass? Who said you're allowed to talk anyway? No one cares what you think. Don't talk to your mother like that, young lady. Please? Got blood. Again. Let's draw the runes. Let's see, this time, it's, uh... We are, a uh, we are, uh, Ashley. That's probably enough runes. Then we light the candles, and light the candles, light the candles. Well, everything is all said, except the music. But I really can't see how I'm going to arrange that. I'm back. Welcome. You're just in time to- uh, I'm about to summon. Okay. So, uh, I guess we just go through everything again? Hold up, let me see. Let me see if there's anything else about this. Where is it? It says, trust him. It says, later in Ashley's vision, you will see the following areas. So, 1 plus 10? 3 plus 9? Why is there math here? She will need to pick up the flower material. Um, flowers marked with green circles and follow the path marked with numbers. I'm really confused. This is next. Ashley needs to enter the door. Um, so, we're just going through everything and endings. Uh, instead, Ashley will need to talk to the demon. So everything is off. So this is like, okay, so everything's going to be different? How is everything different if I pick 
Ashley instead of Andrew to stay behind. Oh, whatever. Um. Hello, Mr. Miss Demon. I'm sorry. I don't have the mute music, but I have the other stuff you asked for. There's no answer. Maybe if I sing something? Please don't. Mercifully, the demon shows up and spares everyone from the secondhand embarrassment. Okay. Tarso. What the fuck is that? I offer those too. Okay, so the, everything here is just going to be the same. Uh, yeah. I wonder if you feel something. Well, anyway, so the music wasn't needed to summon you after all. Why did I have to play it last time then? The circle is hard to find. Sound is easy to follow. However, you have my talisman now. I'll make you easy to mix easy to find. Speaking of which, what's the deal? Charge it up, please. I uh, think it works again. Yes. Okay. Well, what? Hello? This is the brother. Yep. Okay. Let me just skip past all of this real quick. I, I see. Farewell, Tar Soul. Until you have another soul I offer. Yep. Okay. I don't. When does that happen? Is it during the vision? I think it did say the right. Uh, vision, you'll see the following areas. Or the area. Okay. So, is the vision just gonna be different from the two endings we got before? Or what? I don't- I don't know. Let me just go through all of this. I return the lighter. Okay. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna try to get to this part. Because there's still a quite, quite a bit left. So, let me get there real quick. Because I decided to come back because, um... There's new parts here. I accidentally skipped past it, but I was like kind of seeing stuff that wasn't that wasn't that I didn't see before. So I had to restart. But let's come over here, talk to An Andrew. Let me skip past all of that. And then what we do is uh, just get the vinegar, the screwdriver, and the freaking baking soda, and uh, put that in there. And then after that, everything should be new, I believe. Yeah, because there's new parts to it. Let me get the, the baking soda. Head all the way back over to my boy. My boy Andy over here. Talk to him. Andrew unscrews the drain lid. Pour in some baking soda. Baking soda. You pour da down a generous amount of baking soda. Soda starts bubbling up, but the clog doesn't last a little bit. Well, I tried. We tried. Uh, I'll get you the rubber gloves. I'm the one who's gonna have to get it, right? But of course, I am but a dainty little lady. Do you expect me to do a man's job? Fine, just give me the gloves. Okay, we got the gloves over here. Uh, let's head back over to Mr. Andrew. Here you go, have fun. Handed Andrew to the rubber gloves. He digs out God knows what out of the drain. Seems never ending amounts of God knows what. Oh God, that is disgusting. I'm gonna gag. You're not helping. Fuck, that is gross, Andy. <laughs> And he doesn't respond anything to that. Looks like he's finally coming around. Though there being no reaction at all is a little worrisome. The drain works. Let's get this over with. You and your brother dismember your parents and disbowel them and decapitate them. What fun. Damn. <laughs> this one's a new one, right? Having regrets? Would I be allowed to say so if I did? Of course, you can tell me anything. A anything I want uh, used against me anyway. I love you, Andy. I'm sorry for lashing out earlier. I forgot how hard this is for you. I'm fine. No, you're not. Talk to me. Damn. I've got nothing to say to you. Andrew continues butchering your parents. And for the first time in forever, you have no idea what he's thinking. Damn. So what's the plan for all of this? We're, uh, we're to dispose of it all? Yeah, yeah, but how? We'll use whatever means available in the house. Let's look around and see what we can do. Okay. So we're back here. Uh, let's pick up all the limbs real quick. We gotta throw some in the fire pit. And then uh, do do the other stuff. I don't... I'm gonna continue uh, playing. See if there's anything new. Because I don't know. I don't know if there's anything gonna be new. Um, yeah, all of this stuff is the same. We throw them in the fire. We head over here. We blend them. We uh, make some food. Let's go make some food real quick. Collecting uh, these the potatoes, the carrots, and the onions. The onions. Actually, hold up. I need to pick up that rock. If I can. Can I pick up the rock now? No, I can't. I need, uh, I need the bag first. Which... Let's first go make some food. Let's come over here, make some food. 
Oh, oh wait, I need to chop everything up. <laughs> I need to chop everything up. And then we will we will cook. The soup is brewing. Okay. Soup is brewing. Yep, yep, soup is brewing. Now what? We need a bag, which we can get from where? In here? Oh, can I find anything in there? No. Maybe down here? Maybe we clean everything up down here. The mop? No, not the mop. What do I do? A functioning toilet. Yeah, I need a, the bag. Where do we get the bag from again? I don't really remember. How about we actually come over here? Uh, oh, yeah, we had to throw the faces in there. Then we go check up on the soup. We come over here, get the soup, and eat. You're really not gonna- Oh, shit. You're really not gonna have any? I honestly don't see the point. If you're hungry, there's other food available. Or if you're hungry, there's other food available. Hmm, hmm. But don't you want to feel powerful? Explain. Well, uh, hmm. Let me think, Munch Munch. Okay, so humans are at the top of the food chain, right? And then when it comes to- when, when it comes and- uh, when I come and eat the humans, I'm on the top, right? Uh, that's not really how that works, but whatever. Then is this your diet now? You sacrifice people and eat them for kicks? You're not getting it. Let me try explaining it again. I don't need to get it. I just need to know if this is going to be an, be a thing. Um, I'm the one who's gonna have to sort it out. If I eat someone, I'm eating their entire life so far. Everything they've known and felt, I'm consuming all of that. And if and if I could turn that into some sort of energy, I'd be all powerful. Does the, does this power leave as 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 you shit the corpses out? Haha. <laughs> Let's just uh it's just like absorbing nutrients. I I get to keep the energy. If you say so. You're not getting it at all. Even if I could magically absorb someone else's life what would i do with that i have no desire at all to be our mother or father in any capacity well, um well those two i'm gonna shit out and flush down the toilet ha huh. there finally what nothing well anyway i don't i i think we've dealt with the flesh um to the best of our abilities but we still need to do something about the bones well first of all I need to ditch the leftover soup. While you do that, I'll clean the kitchen. Okay. Let's go ditch the leftover soup outside. In the, in the garbage bin. Bodies look less conspicuous. And go talk to Andrew. Don't worry too much about s someone seeing you throw away the soup. As long as you don't look nervous, no one will think anything of it. Are you talking to yourself right now? Right. What was I thinking? You wouldn't- you wouldn't worry even if I told you to. Okay. Maybe I go mop? I think I go mop, right? Let me go- No, I gotta get the bones. I gotta get the bones first, actually. Over here? No, no, I can't. Never mind. Never mind. I can't get the bones. We gotta wait, um, till the fire goes out. Let's come down here and get the mop. Or not. Or, or not. What do I do now? I don't know. Actually, hold up. I think I do. Um, I gotta get this. I should you find the chuck this out? I forgot to grab it and throw it out. <laughs> I didn't even... Let's throw it. And now we're Andrew. You are Andrew. I used to figure out what to do with all the bones. I need to figure out. Um, for now, I'll, I'll just collect them all before Ashley loses track of them. Got plastic bag. Okay. Let's go get the bones. Come over here and get all the bones. We put them in the plastic bag. Let's go get that rock that's just chilling out here. Pick up the rock. Pick up- got some rocks. We place them in the bag. Let's uh, head into the window and come down to the basement and go talk to Ashley. So what do we do about these skulls? I'm thinking of throwing those into the ocean with the rest of the bones. So much for making them disappear, huh? Okay. Uh, let's take out their teeth and take out their teeth and flush the teeth down the toilet. Oh, don't go do that. Go flush the teeth down the toilet over here. They're all gone. And now let's pick up take pick up the skulls and talk to you. Finally, all that remains now is cleaning up the basement. Huh, do we have to? Yes, obviously. Why? We'll have to sacrifice someone again later anyway. Huh? Why would it have to be here? We're going to live here, right? We just have to keep paying our parents rent or whatever. 
I wish we could, but eventually someone is going to go, hey, Miss Grace hasn't shown up to work in a while. And all of this stuff, I'm pretty sure is the same. And my, my earbud died. Great. Hold up. Let me plug that in. Put this in here. Okay, so I have to have only one in. I am Ashley now. Uh, God damn it, I really thought we were in the clear after all this. But whatever, I'm gonna need a mop. Yep, let's go get the- that mop is too big, what? Okay, let's mop for all this blood. Then we have to mop up the runes, right? And mop, mop it. And then we also have to pick up all the candles. Mop, I should put the candles back in the box, right? Yep, uh, rumor has it there is a one the brilliant mop here. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> you have the mop. Why do you still have the mop though? You're picking up candles. You don't need to carry them up with you. Return all the candles into the box. And let's go talk to Andy. Hey, Andy. All done. Are we ready to go? I think so. Though, there's no way to tell if we miss something still. Other than maybe see if you have a dream where, we get, where we're caught, I guess. I offer two souls, so it stands to reason I have at least two visions to come. How about, how about I take a nap and see if a disaster awaits us? Please do. Okay, let's go take that nap. Let's go take the nap. So, what are the conditions to get a vision? As in, what did the demon say about it exactly? Not well, if I remember. You don't? Ugh. Could you possibly give any less of a fuck? That'd be great. Oh, do forgive me, your highness. It's been a week or two. And up yours. You didn't even remember our parents' address. Which is, of course, uh, just as important as this. Look, it just... Uh, it just said that I need to hold on to it to have clairvoyant dreams. That's it. It was in my pocket last time when it happened. Then, could I hold it this time? Nope. Oh, come on. Even if you have a vision, you just freak out and overthink it. Uh, your dumbass can barely understand what's happening in the present, much less in the future. If anyone should be deciphering what these dreams are about, it should be me. Screw you. Now I'm definitely not letting you have it. I'm just... Fine. That was uncalled for. You're not getting my trinket. Fine, whatever. Have an awful night and terrible dream. Andrew fucks off somewhere and you go to sleep. Okay, so this is definitely different. Oh, this looks familiar-ish. Is the demon summoning me again? It did say it would. Let me open up my, uh, my block third thing again. So after that, we are in this area. Well, we aren't in this area. I gotta, gotta wait. But someone's at the door. Maybe I should stay here. Maybe you should. Let's pick up the flowers though. Because we kind of need the flowers. We gotta head over. Dude, can you stop banging? Stop banging, bam. Dude, that's kind of not. No, stop it. Place, place, place. There's nothing to step on. There's wood and iron. Okay. And there's a doorway over there that I gotta head over to. I don't know how though. Chopped uh, wood. Does someone live nearby here? Uh, then again, demons can teleport. But then again, do demons need firewood? Pressing question right there, but let us not forget you are being pursued. Got an axe. Chop, chop. Uh, yes. Uh, ch chop. I can't get over there. How the fuck do I get over there, though? Can I get the wood and, you know, maybe build a bridge? Actually, the trees. Maybe I can chop them the trees. Let me check. Can I? No? I can't? Okay. I was thinking I could. Maybe, like the axe is going to help, uh, help you any. Uh, God knows what's on its way. Oh, okay. Road sign gets the axe. I got road sign. We can use the road sign to cross. Bam. Now let's head this way. You probably shouldn't leave the path open for your pursuer. Okay, let's get the road sign. Get the road sign. Kick the road sign uh, down the endless void. There you go. He can never get me now. Ha ha ha. Stupid. This is this this is the area. So let's see. One so we gotta come get this. One plus ten. Uh I'm so confused. What do I do? I gotta get over there, so let's just pick up um ha, huh, did I mess up? No, there's another one over there. I didn't see this one. Uh let's pick that one up. Let's head over here. Come over and get this. Got wooden plank. And where do we go? We gotta come over to here. Right. Right there. Place the wooden plank. And what was that? Pick up the wooden plank. 3 plus 9. 
this wooden plank down there. Pick up the wooden plank and place the wooden plank there. Okay. Pick up the wooden plank, place it there. We can just keep taking it. There's three flowers over here. We cross and I continue doing everything again. We we'll do that and pick it up. Pick it up. Okay. We gotta head that way. Let me leave that wooden plank there for now. And let's go and place the flowers. And we get the key. Let me pick up. Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. He's back? What are you doing? Bro, he's banging hard. Can you not? Can he stop? Can he not? Can he stop? Can you go away? Let's place the flowers there and enter. Oh, okay. Let me come back down here and see what's next. Okay, so this room is... Hold up. I'm, I missed something. I think I missed something. Crap. Did I miss something? Please tell me I didn't miss. Hold up. Crap. I think I missed something. Crap. Hold up. Yeah. I think I might have missed something. Because... Uh, this thing was telling me there was something there and I can't go back. Fuck. Hold up. Where's the autosave at? 425? I don't, I don't know where this would be at. Can I go back? No, it's here. Crap. A tiny tree gets the axe. So let me head up there. To that door. Just chop down all these, these tiny trees. Let's get up there. I really hope it, it lets me go back. I don't think it will though. Um. Yeah. Because that's not good. That's not good. Um, got white key. No, I need to go in this room. I need to go in the black room. Let me go here. That's where I need to go. You don't have a key. Crap, I don't want to have to redo all that, bro. I didn't save. Fuck. We'll need to pick up the flowers marked with green circles and follow the path marked with numbers. In the screenshot below, she will also need to pick up the, blo the black key marked with the yellow circle top of uh, below. After picking up the black key, another black key will appear next to the door Ashley needs to pick up as well. Next, Ashley needs to enter the door, top marked with the black circle, the green circle, uh, whatever. Inside, Ashley will need to talk to the demon. What happens if I enter the white room though? Hold up. Uh, there has to be a way to go back. Because, like, like, whatever, whatever, whatever kind of pisses me off i need to find a way of, well i wouldn't be able to go back i have to actually restart that entire thing start the entire thing enter here oh fuck it's just you no wait something isn't um i don't suppose we could talk things out there truce come on andy please nice with your sister tag i'm it you should run in three two one go uh run wait no it's not my fault this episode is titled no way andy and lele and no andrew wait and the final finale finally no i'm sorry okay i'd be better let's just leave and forget about all this everything will just be fine i but i'll behave i promise you already shown me that's not true. I'm not falling for this again. No, wait, I'm, I'm sorry, Andrew, I'm sorry. I am so tired of your sorries. They don't mean shit. Damn. Shit, what did I do to piss him off like that? Why would Andy ever, no, he would never, not my Andy. No, I suppose he might. Or Andrew might anyway. It's him less and less and less. Everything okay with you? Oh, uh, I guess I had a nightmare. A vision? Uh, no, no. It was a just vague nonsense. Oh. Hey, Andy. Please be Andy, please. Oh, what is it? Oh, thank fuck. Nothing, nothing. Never mind. I just love you so much. Thanks. Jesus, what a shit reply as usual. Would it kill you to say it back to me every once in a while? You keep calling me by some other guy's name. What do you expect? Come on then. Our parents won't jump in into the ocean by themselves. Damn. Okay, that was that. We got we got that ending, I guess. But I'm going to uh I'm going to pause in a, uh, here and then I'm just gonna 
have to replay the entire thing again. Well, not the entire thing, but replay that entire section again. Because I missed that black key. Uh, See, so yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back to this part. <laughs> and the banging is getting uh, intense. But we gotta come all the way over there. And there's a key right there. How did I miss that? This key right here. We got a key. So let's head this way. Follow the path over here up to here and just progress forward until i reach this room right over here right there okay huh tasso what are you doing here what are these things souls huh they look a little cute tasty i said cute what okay um what about the black one why is this one a different color a tall soul to be it didn't hatch oh so my soul looks like this too yours is much darker okay so let's talk to mr guy over here so this is a dream or am i really here both i am interrupting your dream oh so this is a dream but you're really here no this is a vision of me i don't get it what what am i supposed to do uh what do you want Nothing right, right now. You summon me for no reason? You are using my talisman again. I am seeing what for. Yu's meeting is coincidental. What the hell? You're not welcome to snoop in on my dreams. The demon says nothing, but it won't leave either. What a creep. You're just gonna do whatever you want, huh? There was no reply. Well... I should get back to having my nightmare vision again. Do you know what's chasing me anyway? We shall see. Uh, I'm gonna die at the end of this vision, aren't I? We shall see. Helpful? Farewell, Tassel. I will summon you soon. The demon isn't in a chitty chatty, or isn't in a chatty mood. So I guess that, that's about it, right? Let me go back. So yeah, I go there. And that's about it. That's about it. I don't need to do anything else. We already got the other ending. But we already have the freaking... The achievement. Guys! Uh, that's going... That's going to do it for this video. The, um, we got a third ending. Well, we got the two last endings that we needed. Oh, crap. My audio started playing for my TV. Because I guess this thing died. Um, but yeah, we got the two endings. We got all the achievements. All six of them. There's probably going to be more once chapter three comes out. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, today's video of The Coffin of Andy and Lele. I really enjoy this game. So if uh, if you also like to uh, subscribe and uh, like the video as well, I want you all to comment down below any like games you might want to see me play that are like, kind of similar to this or just games that you would be interested in watching me play, I guess. So yeah. I hope you will. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, peace out and bye bye.